Hi guys, uh, this is uh, where I'm going to go through my lunch with you as it were. So where shall we begin? First of all we're going to start off with a cucumber, like that. I still can't understand the taste of these things. But after a while they're not that bad. So we've got a cucumber, you know. I'm going to have a whole can of peeled plum tomatoes which I'm not looking forward to either. And on top of that, uh, because I feel so low in energy, I've got tuna steak, which is good quality tuna, rather than um, the start, sort of stuff that I'd normally have, which is basically just bacon for breakfast, bacon for dinner, bacon for tea, you know. So, you know, I am kind of moving up in the world a bit. But what can I say? I've been trying to live healthy for the past day and a half now and I'm really starting to feel the effects. It is not positive, it's actually a massive negative energy drain and I feel pretty awful really. I think maybe some of it's like Coca-Cola withdrawal symptom but um, you know, this is pretty bad. This doesn't really give you much in terms of energy, not from what I can tell. You know, as peeled plum tomatoes out of the can, always the best way. You know, you lovely hair. Um, as you can see, I've barely got the strength to actually open a can now. This is almost worrying for me. You know, I was originally going to have these tomatoes with spaghetti when I got home, but. I should watch my carbohydrates apparently, so I've got to avoid that. Um, I might end up having to eat spaghetti at this point because um, it's going to literally kill me going through these sort of things. But peeled plum tomatoes are nice and they're relatively good for you, I think. So we're going to go through all of the lunch, right? So there's uh, peeled plum tomatoes. Then we've got a can of tuna. Just gonna make the camera go down a little bit because I literally can't hold it up that high. I know it sounds pathetic, but honestly, trying to live like this is really hard for me. You know? I actually like tuna. Tuna's good, you know? I know it's gross, but that's better than a lot of stuff. You know, and it's better than bacon for every meal, bacon for breakfast, you know, um, you know, uh, bacon for lunch, bacon for tea, bacon for everything. I love bacon. What can I say? If, if I have one guilty pleasure, it's bacon. But, you know, I like, tu I, get, I don't like tuna. I can eat tuna. It's not horrible to me. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this off as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah. I've got some green tea as well. And I'm talking with my mouth open, but it's the only way I can keep communicating, if that makes sense. Oh, bloody hell. This is the nastiest thing in the world. Apart from, um... Apart from avocado, I think. I don't know, maybe it's not so bad after all. Maybe I could become vegan. It's highly doubtful. Honestly, I don't understand. I don't know what benefit I'm supposed to be getting from eating healthy. Um, but I'm trying, you know. My cognitive faculties are down, I feel tired, you know, I never usually feel tired at this point in the day. Usually I'd have um, two meals in a day, I'd have it at, um, I'd have it sort of at lunch time and then at tea time. Now I'm eating with three meals a day. I start with breakfast, 
then I have lunch, then I have um, tea. But I'm not really getting anything from it. I feel really, really exhausted all the time. Maybe it's healthier for my body, I don't know. But it just feels weird to me at the moment. Maybe I'll get used to it. Got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is that the Huel is arriving tomorrow. The bad news is, is that I'm not going to like it. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm trying this insane crusade. You know, it's really hard and horrible. I don't like tomatoes particularly. They make me feel weird. I'm allergic to nuts, which is great. Not a massive allergy, but a minor allergy. But they're high in energy, apparently. But also high in salt. I am trying to look after myself. Apparently on the back here it says that I should microwave these, but we all know it's best to heat them up in the saucepan. Oh, man. Oh, really? You know what? I'm probably going to cook these with spaghetti next time because these are horrible. I mean, look at that. That, that is pretty minging, really, isn't it? Now, as part of this uh, healthy thing, I am trying not to eat meat. You know, fish, apparently, according to some vegetarians, it doesn't classify as meat, although I classify it as meat. But, you know, things like red meat is bad for you, so I'm going to try and avoid that. After I've done all this, I'm going to have a nice big juicy steak and enjoy it, I think. You know, unless the vegetables have driven me absolutely mental, which I'm not looking forward to. Anyway, oh my god, look at the size of that one. I don't think I can cope with that in one go. I don't know why I'm doing this. These aren't as bad as avocado. They apparently count towards one of my five a day. Well, I'm actually having five a day now and I feel like crap. There you go. Got a nice cup of tomato gunk here. Saving the best till last. See, this is all the things needed to make a meal nutritious. I've got protein, cucumber and tomato. One thing I will say is that when I get these tuna steaks from the local co-op they always don't taste great but when I order them from Tesco's they're all right don't know why that is same packaging same company it's very peculiar these are from the co-op oh my god You can probably tell I'm really happy doing this. Being healthy makes you great. Who knows? Maybe maybe at the end of this month I'll become a vegan. I can't imagine myself doing that. It's just making me detest veganism even more. It's like an outright attack on my lifestyle. I live off of meat because vegetables make me feel really ill and like I'm starting to feel major effects from just mainly eating them at the moment. I'm having massive headaches, I'm feeling tired. But you know, it's healthy so I'm going to keep doing it. That's for green tea. I hate the taste of green tea but I'm getting used to it. I don't know how people can eat this stuff and say it's nice though, and say it's amazing. I see people eating sap, eating sap, 
or eating hay, you know, whatever they're eating at the current time, and they say, this is great, this is lovely. But it's not. It's actually repulsive. I don't know, maybe we all taste things differently. I think I've said this in a previous video, but my mind's just going. You know, I'm losing my memory. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe... No, I'm still balding. Oh, well, it's only day two. When the when the Yule arrives, that's when the real problem starts, because I'm going to be trying to have that as many times a day as possible. You know? Got to keep healthy. Got to drink my Yule. And we'll see whether or not I can actually survive on this. Uh, if at any point I get to the point where I'm about to die during this um, procedure, I'm probably going to stop, you know, because I've got a kid and everything. But, you know, I'm just seeing as far, how far I can push it, really. I mean, there's some vegetables that are all right. Maybe I'll try something like potatoes at some point, because they were all right, if I remember correctly. But mainly, I'd usually eat three cans of tuna a day, which is a massive mercury overload. Um, I'd eat too much re like meat. I really like red meat. Really like, I like steaks. You know, it's it's one of my weaknesses. And then I'd eat unhealthy noodles. I'd do nothing to try and keep myself fit, but I'm trying. I don't know why, but I am. And hey. Here's to a new and beautiful future, guys. Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, this, my body feels like it's literally disintegrating from the inside. Anyway, cheers. I'll catch you later on when I do the exercise thing. See you in a bit. Bye.